What's up guys? Uh, in this video uh, I want to uh, briefly talk about a couple of short trades uh, I took this week. Uh, let's start uh, with the first one uh, which is based as you can see on a three minute time frame. Uh, now uh, the first thing that, that struck me uh, with, with this price action uh, was the obvious uh, stop hand zone up here. As I have often uh, reiterated in my, in my videos, uh, these price action patterns are, are super important uh, as they often uh, signal genuine uh, price reversals, especially uh, when they appear near uh, the peaks or uptrends or the traps of, of downtrends. I think that understanding stop hunts is crucial when it comes to, uh, to figuring out a shift in trends or range reversals. Uh, and now, what, what made, in my view, this stop hunt expedition even more obvious uh, was this uh, clear change in bearish momentum, uh, cancelling out uh, the market's uh, bullish momentum. And as the chart shows, uh, the price uh, came down, uh, breaking through this well-defined uh, neckline here, uh, uh, which typically uh, is seen, uh, obviously, in the context of, of, of head and shoulder scene, uh, which is typically seen uh, as a bearish signal. However, uh, it's important to note that uh, necklines uh, aren't always reliable and, and should be used uh, in conjunction uh, with other indicators and, and technical Order factors uh, for, for better and more precise trade entries. So after this uh, liquidity grab, uh, which, as I said, involved uh, the breach of the neckline level, I noticed uh, the market kept moving in, in a measured downward trend. Uh, this movement, uh, which was followed uh, by these uh, fake uh, demand uh, retracements, was punctuated uh, by the appearance of this 60 a point puke bar signaling a, a drastic market downturn. Obviously, uh, this capitulation move uh, led to the formation of this new structural low uh, at the bottom here. Uh, now, at this point, and as I have always emphasized in the past, uh, it is important uh, to allow the market uh, to follow its directional bias and wait uh, for, for the price uh, to retrace uh, to reveal the new levels. I believe this approach lets you identify key areas in the market uh, that are tradable. And speaking of tradable areas, as, as you can see from the chart, uh, after this 80-point retracement, an area of interest clearly uh, started to take shape uh, with the formation of, of a descending channel. Uh, now, when it comes to descending channels, uh, you can trade them uh, in different ways. One way uh, is to trade when, when the channel breaks out. Uh, this could happen uh, either upwards or downwards. Uh, but be careful, uh, this approach is, is, is a bit tricky in the sense that sometimes uh, the breakout uh, might be false, uh, meaning these are smart uh, money moves designed uh, to trap retail traders uh, with their actual uh, market direction intention being the opposite. Uh, tying to this logic, uh, my bias points to this large uh, imbalance zone down here. Uh, now, I opted uh, to go short only uh, when the price, uh, following the false breakout, uh, made a, a, a re-entry uh, into, the, into the channel. That was basically uh, the trigger point for me, uh, which was further uh, reinforced, I should say, uh, with the emergence of, of a double top pattern. And as you can see from the action, my, my bias in this trade uh, proved correct, leading to, to a, a decent gain. All right, uh, okay, now that yeah. we are done with this trade, uh, let's jump uh, to the next one. Uh, my approach for this entry involved uh, watching this sideways channel, uh, which enabled me uh, to identify a, a trend continuation. Uh, this basically means that after the market Order exhausted now. to the upside, uh, strongly uh, imposed to the downside. And as I always stress, uh, you want to be getting into the types of trades uh, that are in expansion phases and, and, and that's for several reasons. Uh, with the first one being the potential uh, for, for higher profits. And now, during an expansion phase, uh, prices are usually uh, trending upwards or downwards depending uh, on the market sentiment. Uh, this means that uh, if you are quick on the draw and, and, and get in early, uh, you could stand uh, to make a pretty penny. Uh, then there is a matter of, of trading volume. Uh, during these expansion periods, uh, there is usually a high level of, of, of activity. This can uh, be really helpful, I think, as it gives you as a trader the liquidity uh, you need uh, to easily uh, hop in or out of, of positions. 
And let's not forget about trend following. Uh, many traders swear by the uh, buy high, sell higher strategy. Uh, if you are one of them, uh, getting involved during the expansion phase uh, is like catching a wave uh, just Order as it's starting failed. to crest. Uh, you get to ride it all the way to the top uh, if you are long or all the way to the bottom uh, if you are short. Uh, turning the attention back to the chart, interestingly, uh, after reversing up here, uh, we have the formation of, of these uh, upward retracements uh, that failed to sustain. I believe this is important on the context of both attempts. And the reason I'm saying this is because uh, they not only confirmed a clear break from the support level, but also highlighted, uh, particularly uh, with this lower high, uh, highlighted uh, the market's failure to challenge uh, this newly formed resistance level. Logically, uh, if the supply uh, side uh, keeps pushing lower, uh, creating equal lows uh, with a tendency uh, to print uh, new structural ones, uh, then we know that uh, more downside uh, is probably in play. Uh, we also, by the way, have a descending trend line here uh, forming off of these highs. So all these influences suggested, in my view, uh, a short entry, uh, which is why uh, I shorted and even chased uh, a bit lower after my order uh, didn't get filled initially. As you can see from the price action, I fell short of the 4904 target. Uh, later on, I added another contract uh, when the price uh, retraced the 4910 level. Uh, now, despite not hitting uh, the anticipated target, uh, this trade was, was still uh, profitable. Uh, if you are interested in learning more Order about now. one of my backtested trading strategies, uh, don't miss uh, this next video uh, where I showcase uh, this technique in action. All right, gang, that should do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and as always, hope to catch you all in the next video.